Hey, what's up guys? Uh, thank you very much for being on Electrica and I thank you for subscribing to Electrica. Now, uh, today I still have a, a float switch in front of me, but as the title uh, says, uh, what's inside here? Maybe probably you've never bothered to look inside. Perhaps you're interested to know what's inside, okay? So, we've done several videos about uh, how this float switch operate okay so uh, we did our link a video in the description uh, below I also link it in the card probably now okay so uh, I took time uh, I cut uh, this and then uh, you know I want us to have a look at it this uh, float switch is well insulated it's a double layered because now this is a plastic then they had to, to wrap this one because inside we have electrical switch that it shouldn't you know get water inside if it gets any water inside here obviously uh, we will have some short circuit here and this and the switch will die out okay so uh, I have a piece here that we have cut and uh, we simply want to you know I want to show you how it works and uh, how it looks inside now inside here we have got this bow here uh, it's like it's a bearing okay uh, it's really heavy it, it's it, it always stuck but it can't it no, it's not easy to stack because it's really heavy okay uh, then this is the latch it's the switch that being moved by by this bearing okay uh, we have a switch right here this switch is actually the same as uh, these microwave switches okay so you have ever seen a microwave switch and this one there's no difference uh, sometimes what matters is uh, uh, the current but uh, this is just you know uh, the same if you look at uh, this this came from a microwave okay yeah so it's just the same thing that uh, they use here okay so here we have got uh, three contacts right uh, we have brown here we have blue and black now if you look here uh, black is common and then we have on on you know on on black is common now uh, I told you in my earlier videos that uh, this float switch it operates in two different positions okay uh, for example if this float switch is in this position it can be on and at the same time off I mean it can be on or off it depends on how you're going to set it and if it is in this position it can be on or off so that's the reason why we have all the two wires the blue and the brown wire they can all put the circuit on but it depends or off but it depends uh, where the foot switch is pointing okay all right so uh, I can uh, sh show you now what happens is, is uh, normally th this switch will be like this okay it, it will be like this okay so it will be just exactly like this now when you push here you see that the arm moves the switch okay you're able to see that the arm moves the switch okay so the moment you move that now when we put our ball right there so if you put it upside down as you hear this it will just move up that side and then it moves the arm now if you you put the other way around it will run here and now this will be pushed back it's the switch this because the switch is spring loaded so the moment the ball move it will push the arm back okay now if the ball lies here it will push the switch inside okay so the moment the ball comes back 
the lever comes uh, comes back also and the, the circuit will be open okay so it's just the same thing uh, it's still uh, the same thing the other way around so right now in the, the way I'm holding uh, this piece of switch here you see if right now this knob is out the way you're seeing okay so if you test between the common and one of these you'll find that uh, one will be open and then the other one will be closed now for example this will be open and this will be closed when i press here this one becomes closed this one becomes open okay as i'm pressing here this is closed open when i release you know it swaps okay so basically uh that's how uh you know that's how it works okay uh and uh there is no absolutely no difference uh between these uh microwave switches and the one that that are here uh, and the good thing is that uh, uh these switches uh they rated now exactly this one is rated at 16 amps yeah if we look at this it's also 16 amps rated uh same as this so uh, 16 amps is really huge that's why you see that in most cases most people can connect the thing you know just in the series with the pump uh of which it's not really that advisable uh to do so okay it's not really that advisable to do so you always have to use a contactor okay I always emphasize on that you always have to use a contactor for you to be able uh, you know to not, not to burden the thing uh, quite a lot so you have you just let this operate the contactor and then the contactor will bear uh, the other load indeed okay so I really appreciate uh, your time here hope you've enjoyed this video uh, of looking inside uh, a float switch okay i thank you very much and uh yeah until next time i'm out mm -hmm.